Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a kill or develop a product. So how this works is when a player purchases a developer product, it will kill every single other person inside the server. So let's say someone spends 10 Robux, buys the developer product, everyone else in, that is in the server except the person who purchased the developer product will be killed and will be forced to reset, which will basically take them back to the spawning area or take them back to a checkpoint, for example. We have also implemented a system where the person who purchases the developer product will not be killed with everyone else in the server because that's the last thing you want. The last thing you want to do is spend 10 Robux and then you also die with everyone else that is in the server. It's, it, it's, no, it's nothing beneficial. Where on this system, if a player purchases the developer product, they will be saved and they will not die. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, click on the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties, and they should show up somewhere over your screen. So now that you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you now want to go and create the GUI where the person will be able to purchase this developer product from. In this tutorial, we will be using a GUI system where if a player touches that GUI, then the product will be prompted so that the person can then purchase the developer product and then everything else kind of folds onto that. So for the now, all we're going to be doing is creating our system on how the person is actually going to be able to purchase the proximity prompt. You're able to find many different ways on how you can actually prompt the proximity prompt on my YouTube channel. So you didn't have to use a GUI, but for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a GUI. So I'm going to go click on the plus button next to start a GUI, insert a screen GUI, and we're going to go do that. You can go and click on frame if you want to insert a frame. It's not necessary though, but for the tutorial, I'm just going to be using text button, just like that. I'm just going to make it really rough, you know, because not everyone wants to have a GUI as their prompter to the uh, developer product. But as mentioned before, you can go find your different way on my YouTube channel. But there is our GUI. I'm just going to go and change this to kill all, just like that. Scale the text a bit, and that, that should be fine. It doesn't need much more than that. Once you've done that, click on the plus button, insert a local script, and then I'm going to paste in this code. So now that you've inserted the code, we actually need to go and create ourselves a developer product. Now, we this developer product is going to be the one that the text button prompts when it is clicked, as well as the one that we're going to be using in the system, but I'll get to that shortly. So what you want to do to go and get your developer product, you want to close click close on your script and then we want to go up to the top bar here where it says home and click on game settings. We then want to head over to monetization and then down here you're able to see developer products. Now we want to click create next to developer products and then this will create us a developer product. We would then want to click on the three dots and click edit because now we need to go and edit the price as well as the name of the developer product. So for this tutorial, I'm going to do this as a kill all developer product and we can set the price to one. We will leave it at one because it doesn't really matter the price, but you could set this to 100, 100,000, 10,000, really whatever you want. But for this tutorial, we will have it as one. Then you want to click save. You then want to click back on game settings, click on monetization. Then click on the three dots next to your developer product, which we have just edited. Click copy ID to clipboard because now we are copy copying the developer product ID. We then want to go back to our local script or the area that is going to be prompting the developer product. We then want to go and change this ID to our developer product ID. So if I had to go and join into the game now and click on our text button, I'll be prompted to purchase the developer product. But now nothing would happen. So now that you've got your way on how the player is actually going to purchase your developer product, we're going to go click on X up here. Once you've done that, click on the plus button next to service script service and insert a script. You then want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. Now for starters, we want to go and change the product ID to our product ID that we put inside of our text button. Now this is the product ID, remember from the game settings, so we want to go and copy this one right here from our local script or our area which is actually prompting the proximity, sorry, the developer product. And we want to go and change the product ID over here to our developer product ID which we created before, as well as used in our way to prompt the developer product purchase. So once you've finished adjusting everything, you want to head up here, click on the X button next to your script to go and save the script. And then you want to go over to File and publish your game to Roblox because now we're going to go test this out in the main Roblox page. For this tutorial, I'll be using my alt account as a witness or to show you that it actually does kill the other player and not myself. 
You are also able to test this in the studio if you do not have an alt account and all you can do, you just select the amount of players that you want in the server and then you can click start. But I'm gonna go and show you in the main Roblox page. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate. And if I go click on our kill all button, we'll be prompted to purchase the developer product. And as you guys remember, our price was one Robux. Obviously, your price will be different. But if we go purchase the one Robux developer product, you'll be able to see that we break the joints of the BGS Hatcher OG OG. Now, do remember that we did not actually die from this transaction. Now, something also you need to note is when we went and purchased the developer product, we did not die. Only the BGS Hatcher OG and anyone else that would have been in the server would have died and not the main person who purchased the developer product. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket on my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next video.